All right, hey guys, uh, by a large request of people, I'm gonna show you guys how to make some um, micarta, like this right here. But today we're gonna be using different materials. We're gonna be using some um, colored construction paper and just different types. Uh, you can use any material you want and it's the same process pretty much. All right, so what you'll need to make this, you need uh, some resin which you can get in any hardware store uh, pretty much uh, any amount will do it comes with a hardener in a little tube uh, you'll need some wax paper I uh, use just uh, lunch paper to wrap sandwiches uh, two of those and uh, you'll need uh, some sort of container to pour the resin and the hardener to mix it up in I preferably just use just a piece of bottle, just you know, just uh, cut it in, in half or something, and that should be good. Uh, you'll need some clamps, uh, about like I don't know, two, three maybe. Uh, it doesn't have to be the expensive kinds. Just uh, just get some clamps. I have two and a vise, which is right there, and. Uh, You'll also need some some uh, wood uh, for to squeeze the uh, the material in to compress it. All right. So what you're gonna start by doing is taking the resin, shaking it up a little in the can, and opening it up. And also wear gloves because this is uh, some dirty work you're going to get your hands dirty and this stuff is not easy to get off your hands oh son of a bitch you gotta be kidding me all right all right so after that you pour the resin into the container just pour it all in there, the whole can if you want, not the whole thing, it doesn't matter. I'm just gonna pour the whole, whoops, just gonna pour the whole thing into the bottle. And that's about it. That's pretty much the whole can. At least that's what I think. All right, and that's the whole thing. All right, now it's time for the mixing. Uh, you're gonna take the hardener and mix it up with the resin. And as for the amount of hardener, uh, there's no right or wrong amount. It's just uh, the more you put in, the faster it's gonna harden. So. I'm just going to take like, I don't know, just however much I feel like it. I pretty much put in like uh, three fourths of the whole tube and just mix all of that nice and neatly with a stick or something, whatever you want. And as for how you're going to spread the resin on the material it's gonna be either with your hands or a brush I'm just gonna use my hands and you mix it up nice and nicely so it mixes up completely mixing it up and there you go and you want to do this fast before the resin starts to cure so take your material put it down and start spreading just Pour it and use your hands and just spread it all over the paper or the jeans, whatever you're using. Just whatever you do, make sure the whole surface gets the resin. That's what you want to make sure. All right. And then you just continue the process. Just pour the resin. Just pour it on. That's all you're doing. This is pretty much fun work, but it's dirty. Just continue doing that. 
just uh, be careful of how much you put on because you don't want to run out and like I said every single piece needs to get poured with resin otherwise you're gonna see uh, parts that aren't that weren't uh, poured with resin and that's gonna show in the, your final material so you want to make sure whatever you do that every corner every single place gets the resin that's all you want to make sure just spread it out massage it in and there you go just continue doing that and you want to do this quickly but efficiently because like I said uh, the more the more resin you put on the faster it's going to cure which means the faster is going to harden so you want to do this as fast as possible so and the more layers of paper or material you're using uh, I have prepared like 10 pieces of construction paper uh, the more you use is just uh, the thicker the material is going to be so it's up to you definitely of how many layers you want to use it's uh, up to you so and definitely be careful when you're uh, massaging this like I said wear gloves wear gloves and that's all I can tell you, wear gloves and do not have any kind of bracelet silver or anything on your hands on your arms or anything or rings or anything like that because it will get sticky trust me I've been there the last time I worked with this when I made uh, the micarta from jeans from denim so we're coming down to the second to last piece of construction paper and we're almost done so rub that in nice nicely and the last piece and we're gonna be done and you can actually pour the whole thing over it doesn't matter just massage it in massage it, the whole thing in so more is definitely better than less that's what I think anyway and the whole and it's it's all gonna squeeze out when you when you have it in the vise and the clamps so it doesn't matter just make sure every single corner every single piece got resin you can just massage it in nice and neatly just make sure it all got what it needed okay and that's about it you're gonna get a little dirty but just take the gloves off your hands and I'll show you what to do now all right and now take the other piece of wax paper and put it on on top and now take your other piece of wood put it on and now let me lift up and now we see the vise over there so we're gonna go over there take the vise And you put it in there like so squeeze it take your clamps take your clamps and squeeze them take your other clamp and squeeze it Just do it roughly at the beginning, just set them up, obviously. And after that, you do it as hard as possible. And you can already see, I can see at least, the resin, the extra resin pouring out. So, 
squeeze it tight as tight as possible as tight as you can <laughs> so that's all and take the vise and squeeze it nice and tight when you hear the wood cracking that means you're done it's tight it's tight enough there you go got that nice and oh and we're done there we go <clears throat> okay if you can't get any tighter and you're done and now what's next you leave it like so for 24 hours for it to dry and uh, you should have yourself some nice micarta slabs like like this right here this is from denim and that's gonna be from paper so hopefully it works out well hope you guys enjoyed stay safe stay sharp and go out and make yourself some micarta Peace and out.